What up YouTube, Val Boy here with a brand new video review. But not just any video review, my 100th video review. I want to thank everyone who has supported me. Um, this is a very big milestone, at least in my opinion. And I just want to thank all you guys for supporting me, favoriting, liking, sharing, spreading the word, just doing what you guys do best. And I want to thank everyone. Now, for this very special occasion, I want to review something special. I wanted to actually review the San Diego Comic Con exclusive Helicarrier, but I have not found a cheap one on eBay. And no, I'm not going to pay 250 or 350 or whatever. I'm trying to find a better deal. But I decided to review one of my favorite, or it's either one of my favorites or my absolute favorite Iron Man 2 toy. This is the Iron Man Armor Rolling Battle Headquarters. Um, this video actually might be longer, it might be two-parters, and there will be some edits. So, uh, let's look at the box. So, as you can see, the box is pretty big. I'm really far away from the camera. So, uh, I'll just get out of my chair and start showing some of the features on the box. It's completely encased in a box. The only thing you see is the figure included here. You got Iron Man, some of the features such as lights, sounds, missiles... I'll uh, flip it on the back, and you have some of the armors that you can give it. You have some of the features. Um, very nice. It very nicely displays what this does. On the side, you have that very cool picture. On the other side, you just have the modes. And at the top, you have a picture of the toy. So, uh, let's talk about the toy now. Alright, so this is a pretty big toy. It's a fairly large. I actually have not measured it, but you know what? I have a tape measure right here. So, uh, let's see. I'm actually kind of far away from my camera. But, about right here. So, it is a foot and about, so it's one feet and one inch. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, this thing is very big. A very large uh, vehicle. This was a actually $30 uh, vehicle. Not bad considering today's standards. Uh, here it is next to the Mach... If I can get it right. The Mach uh, 6, I believe. Yeah, Mach 6. Uh, it's pretty big. Uh, detailing is very nice. It's mostly stickers. So you got uh, Stark Industries. Here, yeah, I'll zoom in. Uh, you have Stark Industries... Uh, you have these stickers on the front, uh, these on the side. On the back, you have these two light stickers, and then this nice thruster. You have Stark Internationals. Um, this is actually painted on this side, but on the other side, it is a actual button, and I'll talk about that later. Uh, the spokes are, I mean, the wheels are nice, but the spokes could have been painted. They look nice. Now... One thing that's really cool is that if you go on the top, you can actually open open this up here. It goes down, and it also rotates all the way, and it can actually shoot three, I mean four missiles. So I'm going to pull this out. Um, with this up, you can't really post someone uh, actually shooting it. And it's not a spring-loaded missile. It actually is a twist pressure missile. A somewhat sensitive one. Uh, if you twist this back piece here, it will shoot the missiles. Now, these actually use the standard missile connection, so you can put any missile you wish in here. It does not include any extra missiles, in case you're wondering. So, if you lose one, you really are kind of screwed. But, uh, yeah. Now, the cockpit is kind of weird to open, because when you open it, you kind of got to lift this piece a little due to the way it locks. It has a U locking system here and then a peg here. Uh, when you open the cockpit, you could take the included figure out and you can see that there's a little more detailing in there. You got a little detail in here, a little bit in here, and a little bit in here for some speakers. My one complaint is that, well actually two big complaints, and it's that I kind of wish this was clear, but that's a nitpick, but this thing was actually supposed to be in this original uh, color this very nice I love this Iron Man 2 red paint this vehicle is supposed to be painted in that but they didn't which kind of bugs me now the included figure itself is actually really nice it's the Mach 6 armor without the gold I mean it has the gold but not the silver it's actually decent um, little cheap figure it's got a ball jointed head 
the arms go up and down, the elbows bend, rotate, he has uh, wrist articulation, the hips go up and down, and he has a knee. He also has pegs on his feet. Now what I like is that he has grippy hands, so if you want to, you can actually pop the hands out and switch them with the other figures if you want Iron Man to hold something. So that's pretty cool. Now, I'm going to cover the electronics really quick. So let's turn the f this vehicle around. Oh, by the way, here he is next to a normal Iron Man figure. He is just a little smaller, but he's a very nice cheapened down figure, I have to admit. Now, the electronics all take place in here, and the battery pack is underneath. This is this is the battery pack right here. You just It just simply needs to be changed when you went out. It does not include batteries. Now, putting the button will activate the sound effects. So that's a firing noise. I guess you could say that this is a laser. I guess that's a driving noise. Driving. Okay. Okay. Alright, so that's all the sound effects. And one thing I kind of like is that since this flap opens up, it doesn't really hold, but you can actually open this door down. And if you wanted to, now I have things put in there for a reason. But um, what I like is that you could pretend to have some figures walk in there if you're doing stop motion, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so that's really it for vehicle mode. It does roll nice, it has six wheels. Very big wheels. They're, um, they are plastic wheels, they're not a rubber wheel. A little unfortunate. Now, transforming this into its um, battle station mode is pretty cool. Or headquarters, if you will. You have to, you don't have to open this, actually. You don't need to. But what you need to do is pull the missile launcher off. And then you grab this and open it as far as you can. Then you can open this down here. And when you open that, then you get your accessories. Now, what I do is I actually like to keep these in here because, well, it's better I keep it in there than actually lose them. So I'm just going to pull this out, raise the camera, and show you some things you need to do. Uh, for one, when you pull the gun out, you need to attach it at the top right here. Uh, was that in frame? Yeah, that was in frame. Now, the way these are orientated, you can put them anywhere. You have pegs along here. Uh, it w doesn't really matter what order you do it in. I honestly just like to put these accessories on this side. And that's not pegging. So the, this peg is actually a little thicker. So it kind of has trouble uh, pegging in. But, you just need to line up the pegs. So, there you go. Then, pull this out. And this. And then the arm, you just straighten. And you plug in here. And then this thing, I just plug it right here. Because it really doesn't do anything, honestly. It's just a weird little piece. Then, what you need to do is lift this up. And there you go. There it is in its battle station mode. Uh, let's bring in the camera and take a look. Because this thing actually has some nice detailing. There is one stick of detail and it's just right here. I guess it's just a energy bar? I, I don't know. Here's the computer. You do get some cards, so I'm going to pull this off. Here's your normal Iron Man figure. Well, card. Then you could give him the wings. You can also give him, I guess this, uh, just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what you would call that, just a heavy artillery version. And you can combine them. They do fit, and if you actually don't want them showing, or at least you just want this, but you don't want this to show, what you can do is actually put it behind it, and it really doesn't matter. So that's pretty cool. I just like to display it like this. And if you are really clever, you can actually cut a card out. You know, uh, draw something and then cut it or print like a map and put it right here. So that would be pretty cool. 
Um, but I guess here's a good uh, place to end the video on. So click on annotation for part two, which will be on either Monday or a Friday. It just depends what day I upload this. So stay tuned for part two.